Okay, this video is to help gather some more experimental data pertaining to the nature of hydrogen in the combustion process. Um, this film is going to feature this new test apparatus. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any good footage of the gauge, but at the bottom of this device is a little tiny exhaust port. So when you see this piston go all the way down to this point, air will blast out the exhaust port. And from that point on, all the tests are contaminated with air. The initial test has a little bit of air in it too because the line will have air in it. I tried to evacuate it completely. Um, I don't know if that's what's going to be the case, but um, you're going to get to see the test with this thing. Um, I also have a clip of the other test device that I built. This time I'm using food coloring and the watering so we can get a better look at that jet to see how far it's actually spraying. And it turns out it shoots a jet of water a little bit farther than I thought it did. Luckily I did the food coloring experiment. Um, this thing here gives us a pretty good idea of what hydrogen burns like as far as the whole implosion explosion thing. Um, some of the other stuff I wanted to talk about first. Uh, okay. In the combustion process of regular gasoline, if you were to burn 0.165 liters of gasoline it is converted after combustion into 180 liters of CO2 gas and 0.16 liters of water. I didn't want to take the time to convert the steam and water thing and all that, but you get the point. <clears throat> you have heat and steam as the byproducts to the tune of about 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. And that super high temperature is only maintained for the instance that combustion is actually taking place. So this uh, superheated steam is converted into water pretty quick. And supposedly the vacuum ratio is 1,886.6 to 1. So there's a pretty significant uh, vacuum generated there. I don't believe those numbers based on testing I've done. And this source was talking about Brown's gas. So that right there is a giveaway that it's a crock. And also the absorption of heat is what's required to induce this vacuum. So if you're going to design an engine that runs on hydrogen and is made to run on hydrogen, you definitely want to try to exploit the vacuum properties with its combustion. Okay, you might get lucky tonight. I might wake my girlfriend up and piss her off. She'll be out here screaming.
know how to work the slow motion on this thing, so I don't know if that pressure gauge is moving or not. But if any of you guys get bored and got the know-how and the stuff to do it, uh, let me know what was going on with that pressure gauge.